So today we are going to continue on our shape sculpting. First let's talk about if I want to update this character. How am I going to do that? So let's duplicate him. Let's throw a lattice on him and I'm going to make a different design. Now this only works if you do not change your topology. If you change your topology you can get this to work a little bit but it's not ideal. So let's say I thought his mouth area was way too big. I just I wanted him to look younger. I thought he'd be cooler like that. I saw that was a, a more fun character. But I have a problem where I did these shapes. So it's actually a pretty easy thing to do. What I just do is I apply this as a blend shape on here. There we go. Then all you need to do is fire your shape. I'll dupe it off. And I'm keeping this change on the whole time. Dupe this off. Loop this off. Loop this off. You can do it with the correctives too. So now I want to make sure that my character is zeroed out except for that change I made. Then you just delete history. And now you have all your targets. And they all work. So obviously there's going to be some editing I'm going to need to do. Like nothing's going to be absolutely perfect, but you can get a lot of your leg work done by just being smart about the way you edit your character and not changing edges and things. Let me undo this to the when I delete history. Now if I wanted to, and this is where it gets a little tricky. Now let's say I instead went in here and wanted to add an edge loop. So I'm going to duplicate this. And you want to make sure you save this target before you do your adding on edge loops. And let's add our edge loop. Doop. 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 Gonna zero this out. So now what you can do is apply your mesh here. So here's our main mesh and then our duplicated nine is the one we want. So you want to select the new one, then the old one, and then a wrap. There we go. Now size is wrap on, I can steal my new one shapes. And same thing. Now I have the extra edge loops on there and I have a new mesh entirely with the same sculpt. That's a different shape and a different topology. So let me kill the smile, kill this wrap. Gonna hide this. So here's my updated one. If you look, this one now works with the updated edge loops. So yeah, I always go back and forth and noodle my design while I'm doing my basic sculpts. And I even do this like in the middle of modeling, like I'll have the eyebrows not even attached and I'll do stuff like this. Just because I think it's really important to see your expressions on your character before you finally your design. For me it's huge. So you never really know. Because the default shape of your character is the one face that unless your character is in a coma, you're never going to see. So you want to make sure it gets you your expression you want to hit. I kind of like him with a squashed head. So yeah, don't be afraid to change your default. <laughs> Moral of the story. Did all that uh, make sense? Any questions?